I'm Bob Lohr, a general internist at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, and the lead author of an article entitled Comparison of the Quality of Patient Referrals from Physicians, Physician Assistants, and Nurse Practitioners. This will appear in an upcoming issue of the Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Nurse practitioners and physician assistants are an integral part of both medical and surgical practice, and their role will only increase as time goes on. They provide access uh, in areas where there are very few physicians and often are the only providers available. Understanding how to provide the best care for our patients utilizing the knowledge and skills of our MP and PA colleagues as well as physicians is an important issue as the United States develops integrated healthcare delivery systems in the future. This study sought to gather data on how nurse practitioners and physician assistants provide care for complex patients. Using the referred patient to a tertiary general medicine consultative practice such as ours here at the Mayo Clinic was used as a surrogate for complexity. We compared referrals from physicians as well as NP and PA providers in a blinded fashion. After developing and validating a tool to assess the quality of the referrals, we asked a team of experienced general internists to review, to review referrals that occurred over a two-year period after the entire medical record was de-identified, including the source of the referral. We ask our team of reviewers to answer seven questions utilizing a Likert scale ranging from strongly disagree to strongly agree. The patients, the questions rather were, was the clinical question the reason for referral clearly articulated? Was clinical information provided? Was there some understanding of the pathophysiology on the part of the referring physician or nurse practitioner or PA? Had the patient been appropriately evaluated locally? Had the patient been appropriately managed locally? Could the question have been answered by a primary care provider locally? And finally, how confident are you sending this patient back to the referring provider? We found a highly significant difference for all seven questions favoring patients that were referred by physicians. We found no difference in the reasons for referral and no difference in the severity of illness as judged by the Charlson Index. We did note that physicians referred slightly older patients and fewer female patients. We also asked the referring nurse practitioner and physician assistants who had made these referrals a single question on a separate survey. The question was, how often do you discuss a case before referring it to the Mayo Clinic? We had about a 50% response rate, and of those that did respond, the majority indicated that it was rarely or never. Our findings raise questions about both the quality and the desirability and the availability of physician oversight of nurse practitioner and physician assistants, particularly in settings where they're expected to care for complex patients. Nurse practitioners and PAs do take care of complicated patients in many settings. They work side by side on teams with physicians in the intensive care unit, burn units on the medical ward, and in the emergency department. This type of teamwork, however, and the availability of physician consultation is not always available, particularly in rural settings. Our data suggests that there are indeed opportunities to improve patient care, especially in practice settings that utilize NP and PAs. Our future research will focus on an intervention, a consultation with the physician prior to a referral compared to those patients who are referred again without consultation. In summary, we observed highly significant differences in the evaluation and management of patients referred by nurse practitioners and physician assistants, and it suggested opportunities to improve the referral process both locally from the referring source as well as here at the Tertiary Medical Center. I hope you'll take the opportunity to read our article when it appears in the Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Thank you. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www dot mayoclinicproceedings.org. 
There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.com. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.